All right, nothing to see here, everything is fine. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. You know, over the past few years, we've done so much of flight simulator flying, but something we've actually never done is actually do a full motion flight simulator session. You know, flying an A320 with a full motion platform that's very expensive, but everybody guess where we are today. Mm, yes, everybody. For today's video, I decided to visit the full flight sim A320 simulator here near Darmstadt in Germany. I just randomly booked an hour session for 239 euros. Let's give it a try, everybody. All right, everybody. Welcome to MTV Cribs Flight Simulator Edition. Here we've got a trolley where we can find beverages, everybody. Isn't that great? Time for some hurry because this is very random. We're getting a little bit sidetracked because the main attraction of this whole thing is of course in this door. Let's open it. We can hear air conditioning and we need that because there's a lot of tech in here. Everybody, this is what I call a full motion flight sim. Now, we've got a proper multi-million house standing here basically. This is an expensive kind of tech, but it's kind of worth it. All right, it's time to go up the magical steps. All right, time to knock on the door. Okay, so here's the owner of the flight simulator. This is uh, Michael. Yes, right, hi everybody. Um, he's gonna be our instructor for today, but this is the challenge. We don't really want an instructor. Okay. I wonder, <laughs> <laughs> right, for example, here we have the A320 in the cold and dark state, yeah. and my challenge now is, my goal is to start the plane up, maybe get it off the ground of Frankfurt International Airport. Do you think it's possible yeah, with- of course, of course. <laughs> Definitely, I keep my fingers away, I let you do. Yeah. So have fun, and uh, I will stay here in the back, and you do your stuff alone. All right, let's All do it. Okay, so we are now in the cold and dark cockpit indeed. It's time to start up the plane and this is quite crazy. We for example have original A320 seats. So what that means, it's a little bit dark in here. I'm going to turn the dome lights on in a second. But we have a seating controls here just like you would have in a real Airbus. So this is how this would work. Of course it's electric because that's the deal. Time to, you know, find out the proper position. Okay, just try out the rudder pedals here for example as well and they work we can see the screens we've got the airbus controls down here they feel very nice and this is all we need to do basically it's time to start up the plane to turn on the lights uh, i guess we'll start with batteries uh-huh right so this is the battery lights time to turn on the uh, external power we have some available yes finally some lighting now this is really strange this is something that i noticed the first time i ever went into a real cockpit and that's like the main difference between flying simulator and well, real plane, right? Or real cockpit, perhaps. It's really the, the, the muscle memory that's totally missing, right? There's a big difference from pressing these battery switches to, you know, pressing your mouse to, to, to switch these things in the, in the simulator. You know what I mean? It's like the muscle memory is definitely missing here, but I'm gonna try to, to work this out anyway. So, um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and turn on the, the APU, start that up um, so that we can start those engines soon. Um, other than that, things looking nice. I mean, maybe I should buckle up a little bit. Now, probably have like a three point. Do we need to buckle up? Maybe, maybe, okay, you know what? Maybe we are a little bit um, gangster today and we're not gonna bu buckle up today. How about that? No seat belts. Good. Now, as I've already said, we are here uh, on the ramp of Frankfurt Airport. Um, now, as you can see, the flight simulator is P3D. This is the base, uh, which is very realistic, uh, especially physically, um, which I very much like. So uh, let's just wait for the APU to turn on, please. Aha, here's the, the uh, temperatures coming up here on the APU. We should see an available sign in a second or two. Looking good. Meanwhile, we can already, I guess, get the inertial reference system aligned. That's a very good idea. I'm hoping this is going to not take all too long, maybe eight minutes? Seven. Seven minutes, right? You know, for these instruments to even work at all. I mean, this is really the same as, for example, flying the Phoenix uh, A320 that we recently had released here for the flight simulator. All right, okay, seven minutes later, you can see the aiders are now aligned. There we go, we've got the instruments going on already. We've already got a flight plan on, on don't we? 
Uh, wir, brauchen, wir brauchen keinen Flugplan heute, glaube ich. Erstmal für den, für den Takeoff jetzt einfach. Right, anyway, now the APU also is available. Um, turn on the APU bleed, for example, and the APU generator is already on, so we can turn off the external power. That is looking good. Um, bleed's turned on. I, I guess we're already ready for engine start. I mean, we could try it. Right. Um, aha. Right, you have to pull these. Let's turn the uh, engine two on right here, the ignition start. Let's just hope this works. Can see some of the compressors turning on. Yes, and two compressors coming on, I guess. We've got some spinach, as I like to say. We're turning on an A320. Looking fine. Now that is good, it's time to turn on the engine number one. You can also, of course, hear the engines being already on. Now I haven't actually fiddled with the lights just yet, we should have done that, but who cares. <laughs> Very professional startup, it's coming on. <laughs> uh, it's time to turn off the APU here. You know I love the, A the A320 because it's so straightforward, so contemporary, it just makes sense. It's not complicated at all, the generators are already turned on, so let's turn off the APU generator, we don't need that anymore. And I guess we are actually ready for a taxi. So on the seatbelt signs as well, here we go, we're ready to go. Um, and I guess we're now ready to move after turning off the parking brake. Do you have to pull it? Aha! Alright, that is clever. And let's maybe see if it's some power, just a little bit. And we are actually moving. Now again, this is full motion, so you can feel it, of course, with your senses, not only eyes, right? Um, we're not going to take off runway 07 indeed, so we're going to actually taxi to the right now. Right, it's now time to enter the runway very soon. Before we do that, oh yeah, we can feel the braking definitely. I would like to do a little bit of a startup, start, like a takeoff checklist. Not professionally though, here's the flaps flat, uh, set to like one. That's a good one. Right, it's time to go now. Good, this is, this is strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taxiing an A320 is quite a bit different to like taxiing in a serious plane or something. Not too much precision there. Let's go ahead and already see. Here we have the Airbus control, the side stick. Go ahead and do a little bit of a, uh, of a hold here on the runway just to get mentally prepared, basically. I guess let's go for a toga takeoff. Okay, toga is set. We can hear the engines. Let's give full power. Wow. Ooh, 130, 140, and I guess a bit of a rotate, as I like to say. Here we go. And we are in the air. We are in the air. This is very strange. Good. So, welcome to the skies of Frankfurt. We can even see the skyline here in the background. And I guess we've got a stable climb rate, so let's put the landing gear up. Pull that. Let's go ahead and uh, put the, I guess, the flaps up as well. Now, how does it feel to fly this A320? It's, it feels strange, of course. For example, especially banking, right, of course, in the full motion flight simulator, we can feel all of these movements. We can feel our, our plane going to the right or to the left. Um, I guess what, something we can already try to do is do a Swiss 01 approach and a landing. All right, now we're back. We are in the clouds right now, which is why it is white. The good thing is that we have got ILS cat theory right now. The plane is right now flying itself with the autopilot completely turned on. Right, the plane's already completely configured for our landing right here. The flaps are fully set. The landing gear is already down. Uh, the spoilers are armed. Auto brakes are armed as well, right? Right, we're now 2,000 feet above ground. It's maybe time to turn off the autopilot. Oh yeah, beautiful sound. And uh, it's time to take over the controls of this plane. Keep it at 138 not something like that and maybe just hope for a good landing we've got a master caution alert we just adjust the seat a little bit okay a little bit too high a little bit too hot 500. shut up we've got the poppy lights coming on but only one of them Four. Two. Light slow. Light slow. okay Light slow. Light slow. nothing Light to worry slow. about slow. 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 20 retard 10 uh, right, I think that's been okay. Let's go ahead and stop. We also get reverse thrust coming on. I'm just going to use the wheel brakes right here to go for a full power stop. And I think that's not been all that bad. Landing at Frankfurt Airport, my first Airbus landing. Oh wow, that was full motion sim. Oh geez. Well, now welcome to the Alpine Mountains. Maybe time to do another approach. Um, you know what? Maybe a little bit out of procedure. Maybe let's hand fly the A320 down to the airport. I'm guessing it's over here. Oh, it's, it's somewhere in this valley here. Welcome to Innsbruck, everybody. 
Können wir zufällig einen Engine Fire reinmachen in der Left linken? Right. Oh, and it appears that we have an engine fire on our, on our engine number one. Uh, I guess we'll extinguish that. How do we do that? Aha! Push that. Right. We've lost our engine number one. That's been professional. I like that very much. But we've got one engine left, so nothing to worry about. We're just still falling along the valley right here. Maybe already put flaps to two. And we've got our little Airbus complaining here. Land ASAP. That's kind of funny. Of course, important to do some Instagram stories, as always. Okay, we can already see the runway lights coming up. Now, of course, we've only got one of the two engines running, the right one, so maybe we should also try to crab a little bit. Maybe use some rudder input here as well to get the plane straight down onto the runway. 400, 200, bit high. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, 10. Oh, no, no, no. All right, full power stop. <laughs> Now I'm hoping with the reverse thrust that this will work. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. That's maybe been a little bit of an unstable kind of landing, a little bit late, but there we go. We've touched down with only one of the two engines running. That's been absolutely fine. Oh, full motion, everybody. Great. Right. So one other idea I had was to let my cameraman land, who has no experience with airplanes. Um, so this should be interesting. Runway. You can see the runway already oh in the God. distance. Here it is. A Canon amateur who has no experience with planes whatsoever land an A320? That is the question. Do you think you can do this? Maybe uh, put your put your hands on the throttle, that could be an idea. Uh, so, yes, turn on the auto throttle so you have control. Kind of happy now that we're in, not in a real A320. <laughs> Nothing to see here. A bit more power. More power. Just, okay, now get, the, get rid of the power, no power. No more power, no, no power, no power. And let the plane land. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Right, that's, okay. Now you're in the air again, you're in the air again. Get, go, put the nose down, nose down, nose down. In the air, you are in the air. There we go, bit of a bounce. Now pull reverse thrust and get into the brakes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, now right, 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 turn right. Okay, we are in the grass. We are in the grass. That's, actually, that's not been bad, I think. That's not been bad. Really good. No, that was that was not that was not all too bad. I mean, the runway run was not that great, but there we go. Okay. Perfect. No, that was not that was not bad. All right, now next chapter, bad weather. And we can already feel some turbulence, of course. Again, full motion. After all, we've got, as you can see here, 32 knots of straight headwind. Um, right. Actually, now the, it's turned into some crosswind, rather. Well. Mm -hmm. We can see some rain here as well. Grab it out already. 20, retard, 10, 9. Okay, it's been a bit very late. Nothing to see, but time to stop. But there we go, that's been a rather nice landing and a very, very quick stop. It turns out the A320 is a very quick stopper. <laughs> Full motion. All right, now. The final Swiss Caesar 1 challenge, the most important Swiss Caesar 1 challenge, and that is, of course, short. Runway. Now we are here at um, St. Bartholomew Airport, now very famous 600 meter long runway. And well, the question now is well, can this plane, the A320, take off here? Um, let's do this. Um, 110, 120. 40, 30, 10. Oh goodness. Oh, we crashed. Right. That's not gone very well. Something we can still try though, of course, is landing this A320 down at the runway. Because of course, the landing distance is always a bit shorter than the takeoff distance, so maybe that will work. I mean, you know. 500, 400, 100, right. Oh my goodness. Now this is gonna be a stop. Oh no, we've crashed the A320. Pitch, pitch, stall. Okay, the plane is a bit broken now, so that's not gone very well. Let me try this <laughs> again, maybe a bit of a more stable approach, because this might just work out. Uh. 150. Okay, let's go full stop now. Uh, come on. Yes, come on, you can do it. Come on, Airbus. Okay, stopping, stopping, stopping. And so we have, everybody, 
That's kind of worked now with some proper speed and a stable approach. That's great. All right. Now, one last thing I would like to try is, of course, some stunts. I mean, of course, the A320 isn't that much of a stunt plane, especially because of the fly-by-wire kind of restricting you from doing stupid maneuvers. But the good thing is that we can just shut up the uh, fly-by-wire here by turning off the ADRs. Here we go. We've lost pretty much our... Um, instruments really we've only got the backup instrument running and this will now allow us to do whatever we want with the plane oh okay ah. all right this is how the pilots in australia are trained of course that is very good all right nothing to see here everything is fine now luckily the motion is turned off otherwise we'll be just flying around here in in the cockpit here so this is totally fine definitely a swiss zero one approved maneuvers very good here comes the staircase. Ready to leave the cockpit after two hours of simulator flying. This has been truly an experience for sure. By the way, that's, that's what I call an air conditioning unit, by the way, that's, that's crazy. Very nice. All right, so this was the flight simulator experience of uh, <clears throat> a full full flight sim, everybody. This has been this has been truly nice. I honestly did not expect the full motion system to make this much of a difference. I mean, I've been I'm actually been even in a video in a regular flight simulator without the platform, right? And this makes a, such a big difference. Um, this has been absolutely crazy. Um, again, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna leave the link below to this uh, flight simulator. This has, of course, not been sponsored. I even paid for the session myself. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the flight simulator. And, oh, guess what? I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, good night, everybody.